Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we have a wonderful show for you today. First, we are going to check in with our news partner, Mark, Madison Area Rehabilitation Centers, and see what's going on in their world. Joining us first, we have Gary and we have Michael who join us from Mark and thanks so much for coming on our show once again we're so glad to have you. Oh well, thanks for uh, uh, encouraging us to be here uh, being a news partner with Channel 57 is a great opportunity for us to work with the community and educating them about people with disabilities and their needs and then how the community can help support the work that we do f with uh, uh, people with developmental disabilities in, in this community. Absolutely well we, we love having you, so uh, we appreciate Thank that, you. Michael. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we, we not only appreciate what you guys do, but uh, you always come on and bring some wonderful news and information for our viewers at home. So it's just a pleasure. And today I want to talk to you about actually the, the foundation that Mark has. So there's a nonprofit organization called Mark Foundation of Dane County. And just sort of give us the, the rundown, the basics of what the foundation does. Sure. Uh, the Mark Foundation of Dane County is the fundraising arm to Madison Area Rehab Centers Incorporated. It's a separate, distinct nonprofit agency with a separate board of directors from the incorporated side. Uh, we established that foundation many years ago for several purposes. It gave the community an opportunity to donate lots of different items or cash or stock or real estate, uh, lots of different uh, venues for contributions to Madison Area Rehab Centers. And it allows for um, a, a, a distinction between the fundraising arm and the operations arm so that more long-term planning and strategic planning can be done at the foundation level. And it helps to fill the gaps of public funding, which has been uh, d uh, lowered uh, over the years uh, dramatically. So without the uh, generous help of the community, uh, we would have a much more greater challenge in uh, being able to meet the needs of uh, the clients that we serve. Absolutely. What an important branch of Mark to be able to uh, help with, I'm, sh I'm sure, the expensive, some of the funding that takes to run the many centers and, and services that you guys offer. So uh, what a wonderful thing to get to talk to about. And uh, let's talk a little bit about who really sits on, uh, I know there's a board of directors. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about who sits on the board for the foundation and how that sort of works. Uh, members of the board uh, consist of people who have uh, children or relatives involved in the program. It consists of businessmen and business leaders, business women in the community, um, and people who have supported Mark. It is, however, an independent board from the Mark board. Okay. Uh, approved by the Mark board, but it is independent. Okay, very interesting. And what about the actual, you know, the fundraising and, you know, that we raise this money? and we're trying to gain awareness for Mark's services. So sort of how does that work? How does a foundation raise that money? Uh, it has a variety of fundraising projects. Its largest fundraising project is what's called the Fall Fund Drive, which is simply a solicitation of individuals, businesses, and organizations that have supported Mark throughout the years. Um, in addition to that, they, we have the annual Mark Golf Classic, which next year will be June 6th. Um, which provides money for Mark. Um, there are grant writing opportunities. We have a fall banquet, uh, or not a fall, I'm sorry, spring banquet, uh, which is a recognition banquet, recognizing businesses um, and individuals that have supported Mark, and the money from that goes into the fundraising effort. Okay, so lots of great events really help support, mm -hmm. and you have been our news partner since the golf tournament. I know you had some great success there, so we look forward to hearing about some of the other events that come up. I'm sure you'll keep us posted. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, the, the donors. So I'm sure that there's donations that can be contributed to the foundation, so talk to us about some of the ways that maybe donors can help. Sure. There's a, a myriad of ways in which donors could help. Madison Area Rehab Centers and, and its clients and the staff achieve its goals. Um, of, of course, giving money is always welcome, and money can be given in both a restricted purpose or an unrestricted manner. Uh, but we, we accept gifts of stock, we accept gifts of real estate, uh, of estate planning, and people would like to leave something in their will to make our community that much better and help people with developmental disabilities achieve their goals. Uh, there's a, we are a, a member of the United Way campaign, so year-round giving can be done, or, or the time and the time when United Way runs its fall campaigns. 
Um, and, and equally important to donations is uh, that people from the community can serve on MARC boards and MARC committees in a volunteer manner and participate with their expertise in that regard. And then I guess finally, um, we're always looking for donated items for our centers, okay. specifically needed items. Uh, uh, and uh, we issue those lists on a regular basis. And when people would like to give, but they'd like to know what we need, um, sure. They can call the office and, and we can give them a list of things that they could purchase. Okay, so yeah. lots of ways that, that they can help and you guys have a lot of events coming up. Well, maybe we'll put a couple on the screen for you too. And it goes so fast, doesn't it? We're out of time. Can you believe it, guys? Okay. Well, you know we'll have you back. Thank you so much for joining us. And you stick around. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town after the break.